Welcome back. Today we're going to do a little bit of enduro riding, but first we're at KTEC where I'm picking my bike up. Um, Michael's redone my suspension, so I've got no excuses anymore. Well, we've gone through same as what we did with your motocross bike. We've pulled the forks down, revalved all of those, sprung them correctly for enduro rather than your motocross setup, and then same with that rear shock as well, just get everything working. Is nice that, and soft. So it's softer? Yeah, yeah, a lot softer than what your motocross setup would be if you put that on the enduro bike, she'd be a bit harsh. Today we're off to Parkwood Off Road Centre, so we'll see you there. Who's coming to show me around? Will. Will owns own, owns a place. He'll come and show you around, but well, they're nice. You just picked them out of my gear bag. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the goggle scrounge, but these are too nice. I'm gonna have a look at Bill's options. You can wear them, I don't mind. Right, so we're at Tom, and I've been around a little bit following Will. I think he lives here, but it's the most fun I've had by a long way around an enduro track. He rips as well, I got arm pump trying to keep up last time. Oh, I thought it was going to go up there then. Got a bit scared. It was all going so, so well. Minutes before, I just told Billy and Edward that it was the best enduro place I've ever been to. Yeah, it's just good. But then that Bill took me down a, a mountain and uh, I hit a tree. But hit a bit of a tree and twisted the bar. So we've had to quickly come back up, see Stan, straighten my bars out and then we just leave the front plate like that. It's nice following Will because you don't do as much stupid things as Billy. He's more of a nice um, person to follow. I've already hit a tree trying to follow Bill. It was one of these sections that I hit, um, hit a tree in earlier. I don't like getting wet feet. Oh, this one. one of my favourite sections through there. Bit of extreme in Duracross. Moaning about Stan. Now go on. Billy Crash. He does a grip and a throttle every single day and a lever. Normally a lever as well. He's done a lever on that, but I leave it on for him just to punish him a bit. Yeah. I'll let him ride like that tomorrow. So he learns? Yeah, so he learns. Otherwise, he's never ever going to learn. No, he's not, is he? Ed's loving Enjoying it. it, Ed? Yeah. Just working at the minute. Be here again. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Got Will? It's my uh, tour guide today. Tour guide today. Much, much better than Billy. <laughs> so much more fun riding. Like I'm not even joking. It is a different, different today, experience. a different experience. I've already been on Bill's tour guide this morning. Yeah, I've been in the bottom of a river for. We've had a morning. much more enjoyable experience. <laughs> I'd come back in Duroin. That I, I love it today. Bill just thinks everyone can do what he does. Yeah, he has no respect for no, anyone doesn't, following. He doesn't, do. doesn't. he doesn't even give you the heads up like this bit's a bit naughty, like drop no. a leg off or say like, he just fucking drops in and then you look it's at him late. and you're, on, you're in. And then he goes, That's oh, why I hit that I, tree. Yeah. <laughs> and then he goes, I didn't think you were gonna follow me. Well, fuck That's me, what he just what, said what, then. What do you want me to do? <laughs> <laughs> but was you impressed? Most impressed, but you've ruined it for yourself now every time you act like a Wally. No, it's different. <laughs> Because I'm carrying speed, so I feel confident because I'm thinking to myself, oh, lovely, that was nice. And then I'm just like, whoa, yeah, got up there. When I stop start, it, um, I don't feel good. Same with racing. I don't feel good stop starting in that. we got Silly Billy now. He's come to play. I must say, my, um, I absolutely love my enduro bike now. And all I've done is... Um, Put KTEC suspension on it. Well, they've just revalved the stuff I had. So, uh, uh, big, big, big ups to KTEC because they've changed my uh, they've changed my outlook on enduro just from having like 
some proper suspension. Ah, oh, we're missing Edward. Bit dangerous him riding around on his own, isn't it? Did you guys fall on him? I wouldn't have thought so. Ed did catch us for a bit. Where do you want to go? Do you want to do some laps around this or not? <laughs> Look at the size of that jump I jump. Should we find him then? Let's go find Ed. Ed's more of a man of the technical bits. The noise is coming from the complete other direction that Bill's going, so I don't know what's going on here. Why? That's a motocross section. I tripled in earlier. <laughs> I did. Huh? Do you triple in that? Achieving me. Well, what's going over a fucking log achieving me? <laughs> silly boy. Ah, oh, now he's doing silly things. Will didn't th take me on stuff like this. Um, <laughs> Will's a better host. Pardon? It's a bit too hard that one, maybe. For me? I think it maybe it's Yeah, he's good on that. I think we've stopped trying to find Edward. Fuck. <laughs> what now? What now? You can sit down and just pull up. Oh, I didn't like that, to be honest. Come, we need to find Ed. <laughs> what? He'd probably be back in the van by now. We was on a mission to find him and then we've stopped. Ed not been back. No. Ed not been back. Well, I could hear his bike and you in a totally different direction. I said on air when I was following, I said, I'll be absolutely outstanding if, um, astounded if we follow him in this direction. Well, find him. Was it was right. You know that way? Yeah, we sort of need to go, don't we? Kind of. I need to find him. Oi! No noise. I can hear a bye. I think down there. I have one over there, I think that's Will though. Bit silly letting him go off on his own. Good, I just said on air, good caption, we lost Ed. That gets some clicks on it. <laughs> well, he can always go back to the van. Oh well, yeah. That's what I mean, we, he, if he wants to find Stan or anyone, he just goes back to the van, but we're trying to find him in here. Go back, go back the van and ring him. I don't know where the van is. I can't get back. So how's Ed supposed to get back? It's more sensible to me. Hey! We found you! I haven't known where you were the whole time. I've been watching you. No, you haven't. You keep riding past me. Oh, really? Yeah. I've been in the same spot for an hour. You enjoy it? Love it. I'm going to river. You won't love it. Come on, let's go and do it. I'll just race Bill back. I'll beat him. Come and do this river. Okay. I hate rivers. Yeah, I fucking know. <laughs> We're a very different type of enduro rider. Very. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll, I'll, I'll back. That's where I thought you must have been, that first river. So that's why I've just been to look for you. I've been in the river with the waterfall. Tommy did the first ramp. Yeah, now we're taking the waterfall. Do you have confidence in me through the waterfall or not? I don't think you'll get out the last step. I think you'll get to the last step. I think you'll get up the, the, on the top, don't you? I think you'll get to the last step and then that'll be game over. Who do you want to get on the back of? Who's got the clean seat? You've got the blue 
Yeah, because I don't go in puddles. Yeah, you... <laughs> well, I follow someone, obviously. That's grippy as fuck. Well done, that was good. Are you gonna go straight? If I go straight up, it'd blow his little brain, wouldn't it? Why don't I just go straight up? Up in the He's going straight up, he reckons. Oh, oh he's going. You need a bit more speed than that. up it that way but this way's harder yeah. <laughs> yeah. if I put another rock in there that'd help wouldn't it just smash your front wheel at the end. Just and keep going. Yeah, so Don't the, stop again. The smallest step. Just try and lift and then let all the clutch. It's not going to look pretty. Do you want that help or hinder me? No, I don't There's more space to go there. There now. Because yeah, there's more space. Just aim the front wheel there. And keep it pinned. Just look ahead. And it'll, 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 it'll honestly go up. As long as you lift it, so your front wheel will there. If he attacks it, I reckon he's got it, but I he's... can see Luke and Emma. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe what I've just witnessed. <laughs> you dare I come? That was mad. I just went straight up. I thought that was me. I was well impressed with Ed then. <laughs> Because he fucked that up a bit, really. Yeah. I'm not impressed at all with Billy. <laughs> no. But I was really impressed with Ed. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Ed. Straight up. Oh, well done. That was Min. Lovely. You make that look so easy. Huh? I did do it first. Yeah, bike sounds good. I tell you what, we can all go home really feel today, eh? Because I got up there. Ed got up. Will actually got up a lot smoother than you. So the water fountain <laughs> is a big success. Yeah, I'm I'm um, impressed. Parkwood off, Park Park off road is actually called. Yeah, I'm very impressed with Parkwood off road. No, it's a very good facility. I'll be impressed if you got your microphone on. It is. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, let's do a lap time. Oh, no, fuck I, you, man. The moose is screaming out for mercy. I want to use this moose for the weekend. If you just witness Billy back out of a challenge around an Endura cross track. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
first round? <laughs> December 3rd in Poland. See you there. <laughs> now, uh, do you know what? That's close. Uh, well, I locked it. Did you notice how aggressive? I, don't, I can't even work it out on here. I think it's the same. 35 seconds. <laughs> and on that note, right on Tom. That was outrageous. Yeah, I've never seen him ride too aggressive in my life. Put it there, babe. <laughs>